hello and welcome to another beauty box and boxing now today it's one of my subscription boxes it's cohorted this box costs 39 pounds 99 a month and it works one month in advance meaning you will receive your first beauty box between the first and the 15th of the following month for example if you sign up in november your first beauty box will be the december box so you won't get this box but for december it looks like they've teamed up with marie claire uk, UK to treat us to the ultimate pamper curation one of the items in there is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cream, which is worth £65 on its own. And the December box in total is worth £335.33. But this month's box is a collaboration with Pestle and Mortar and the value is £195. So this is just a sleeve covering the normal cohorted box. I love their boxes. They're very substantial and sturdy and very good to use for other things. There's a card that always comes with the box. Um, but it's really it's just got the QR code here that you links you to their app and on the app is lots of information and information about each of the month's beauty boxes. You can go and look at the past ones actually I think on there and that takes you to the one for November. So I've got some of the information from there and I have checked the brand's websites just where I needed to. To be honest the information on there is pretty much all I needed. Okay with this one if at the end of the month they've got some left over, you can buy them as one-off boxes. You don't actually have to subscribe, you can just buy them. But the price is £50, I think, then, so it does go up. And I do believe there's package and posting on top. I'm not entirely sure, but I did buy one of their boxes once and there was quite a bit of package and posting on there. So it's always worth double-checking that before you make your decision. OK, there's some information on the brand as well on the app link. And it explains that Pestle & Mortar is a founder-led skincare brand since 2014, guided by a formulation ethos of less is more and a mission to enhance and protect natural beauty. And there is a lot more information on them and they do sound like a really decent uh, beauty company. OK, let's get on with looking at the products inside. So the first one is, now the box is a bit torn I'm afraid. Um, that was the first thing I opened and, and they, they're really nice uh, packaging they come in but the boxes were a bit difficult to open. So this is the Renew Gel Cleanser. This is 50 grams with an RRP of £15 and they say this is a 100% natural non-foaming gel cleanser blended with fruit enzymes in superoxide dismutase which can improve skin tone, tightens pores and leaves skin hydrated and illuminated with no tight skin feeling. It contains papaya extract which calms inflammation, rejuvenates and tightens pores, jojoba oil which is anti-inflammatory, preserves elasticity, nourishes and rehydrates and mango fruit extract which refines, hydrates and illuminates. And to use it, it says you dispense one pump and apply to dry skin, massaging gently with fingertips and remove with a warm damp cloth. cloth. But this is like in a little tube type um, container packaging so what I did do is use it as they suggested on dry skin what I've been doing with this whole box actually is using it as a routine because you can which is unusual but I really liked it so there you can see it is a gel sort of texture but when you rub it in it does sort of go more milky um, it feels really nice on the skin actually and there is a slight smell I know I say this an awful lot but it's like an orange milky pudding I won't say orange rice pudding but I know I'm always saying that but that's what it is very gentle orangey smell which obviously for me being one of my favorite smells is great and it does work really nicely on the skin so I have been using this as a in, in a two-part cleansing sort of scenario um, as my second phase cleanser uh, in the mornings which has been really good and I do like it and it's a decent start for the rest of the skincare routine now I'm just going to go off and wash this off because this is one of those ones that isn't really going to rub in so I'm going to make a mess back in a sec right I've tried to do this so that I've, I'm going to say it in the way that I used it in my routine so the next item is a toner and it's the exfoliate glycolic acid toner. So this is 180 mils with an RRP of £25. They say this is a gentle glycolic acid solution 
blended with natural extracts and niacinamide to remove dead skin cells and reveal brighter looking skin. With a pH of 3.8 and a free acid value of 6.8%, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I'm sure it's really good. This is formulated so that the efficacy of the acid is maximised without the risk of skin irritation. Blended with white daisy flower extract and green tea, it diminishes dullness to deliver a glowing and rejuvenated complexion. This brightens, removes dead skin cells, reduces pore size and hydrates the skin. And you use morning and evening after cleansing, you, can, you dispense one pump onto a cotton pad and sweep over skin. So I'm going to show you this because it is an unusual way that it works. So there's like a little flip top there. And as you can see, there's a strange looking dispenser up there um, me being me it took me a while to work out what was going on so there's a little um, sort of rubbery type um, cap in the top of this that you have to get out which does cause a little bit of a problem for me so it's ever so tiny so that comes out like that and then what you do what I worked out the best way of doing it is doing it so you do it like this i'm hoping it's going to work now because i'm in a funny position there you go so it just sort of you pump it down push the top down and it comes out onto the pad it's easier to do when i'm in the bathroom but anyway that's what it's like um and then you just sweep it over your skin now for me i'm funny with toners and i often don't like ones with glycolic acid they can be a little bit stringent i don't know whether that's the right word but make my skin feel a little bit uncomfortable but this one doesn't it's really good i am surprised i have to say because i am a fussy person when it comes to toners but yes i've been using this in the routine for i must be been doing it for about three or four days now you know every morning um because it's a really nice little skincare routine so happy with that no tingling no irritation great product no real smell which is fine um I do like smell, but not necessarily with toners. Okay, the next item is the Balance Facial Spray Spritz. This is 30 mils with an RRP of 13 pounds, and they say enriched with skin calming Irish magnesium, amino acids, and natural plant extracts. This fine misting facial spritz protects and revitalizes skin in the most natural way. Instantly calms, hydrates, and refreshes skin and protects against environmental pollution. And you use after cleansing, morning and evening, and throughout the day as desired. Refresh and hydrate on the go, prime, blend, set and revive makeup, boost absorption of moisturisers and masks. And this is suitable for all skin types. Now this is lovely. Now I often use this as product like this after a toner before I put my other things on. And I do quite like doing that. I don't know why I do it. It's something I started doing when I started doing skincare and it kind of works for me. To have like a, a sort of an essence or a spritz or something like that at that stage so this is what it looks like little bottle type thing now that the spray is quite um stiff actually so i'll sh hopefully it will work and i'll show you sort of this way see how fine it is it really is a very hydrating one i'm going to put it on i should probably pull a funny face so apologies for that You know what i didn't need to pull a funny face there because it's not one of those ones that does that thing where you go oh it's just gentle it feels like i'm really hydrated throughout my skin now i actually really like this product and i think it is one that i would purchase on uh, definitely actually so the next product is one i i would purchase as well and that is the pure hyaluronic serum so this is 30 mils with an RRP of £39 and they say a highly absorbent fragrance free skin serum formulated with hyaluronic acid across multiple molecular weights which instantly plumps up the skin, locks in moisture and reveals a smooth and hydrated complexion. High molecular weight HA locks in moisture, mid molecular weight HA provides hydration to mid dermal layers low molecular weight HA penetrates deep into the skin to stimulate the body's own HA production systems. This lightweight serum glides onto the skin and sinks in straight away without leaving a sticky or tacky residue. It's super hydrating, anti-aging, instantly plumps up the skin, reduces fine lines and wrinkles. And you use two drops AM and PM after cleansing, smooth over the face and neck and it's suitable for all skin types. 
this is a lovely product to use first of all the packaging is so cute look just take that off and there it is um so it's in like a little bottle there it is and i'll show you how it works on the skin because it is one of my favorite hyaluronic products i've ever had i love using hyaluronic acid so for me the most important things in my skincare routine hyaluronic acid vitamin c eye creams of various ones um because some of them are great and some of them aren't so great um and then i do use retinol type products at night just in certain targeted areas but i always use hyaluronic acid morning and night so this is what it looks like so and you need i think it says one to two drops but honestly this spreads so well i don't know if you can see it there it's one of those that does that thing i'm always saying it it just goes on and on but it feels so beautiful on the skin this one does um there's no fragrance to it it doesn't matter it, you can feel what it's doing to your skin the instant you put it on and it does dry out there's no tacky stickiness to it it's blended in it feels great my skin feels lovely after using this i would buy this product definitely definitely i love it best thing in the box for me okay the next product is a vitamin c one it's a great for my routine and again it's in the lovely packaging and this is the vitamin c two phase serum this is 40 mils this has an rrp of 68 pounds so this is an intense blend of vitamin c and natural extracts for dramatically brighter looking skin Three types of high performance vitamin C means that the skin gets superior vitamin C benefits without irritation. Blended with skin brightening natural tamarind extract to deliver fresher, brighter looking skin. Innovative two phase pump technology mixes a vitamin C rich water phase with a superior lightweight oil phase to deliver one perfect dose of serum. This two phase system results in a texture which is soft and lightweight, not sticky. The benefits to this are intense skin brightening, diminishes fine lines and wrinkles, even skin tone, smooths and softens, boosts collagen production. And to use, you dispense one pump into the hand, massage into the face and neck, avoiding the eye area. And they suggest using this in the morning. It's suitable for all skin types. So again, I have been using this one. Now, this is a funny one because there are parts of it that I absolutely love. So again, it comes in the box like that. Um, looks a little bit different so the lid comes off and it's got that kind of like pink action there so I'll try and show you what it looks like on my hand now so this is what I do anyway I put it on after the hyaluronic acid phase so did you see there a sort of clear I hope you saw that a clear substance came out and then a sort of a yellowy one and that's I guess the two phase pump action now this it does really work as they say so it smells a bit funny to be honest I don't really like the smell it's a bit smoky which is strange um, and normally it's sort of orangey but that one to me is quite smoky now it does rub in really well obviously it's I've put a bit too much on there this would normally do the whole of my face and neck sort of thing um, and it does not leave a sticky residue and that's what I love about it because a lot of the vitamin C products I've got to do you have to wait ages and ages and ages for them to sort of set settle into your skin this one does quite quickly um, as I say not overly keen on the smell that's the only thing that puts me off because I do have one that I really do like that has got a, a nice smell um, but it does take a little bit longer to sort of sink in so if you're in a hurry that's what one to use and also i think this routine is the one i'm going to use when i'm wearing makeup because it all goes really well under makeup and it all sinks in quickly so you know you've got that time save element to it as well okay now i think the last skincare product is this one it's the recover eye cream so this is 15 mils and it's got an rrp of 35 pounds they say a lightweight eye cream blended with a cocktail of natural extracts and superhero hero active peptide 
which brightens, nourishes and hydrates the skin around the eye area and it doesn't interfere with makeup. It contains palmitoyl tripeptide 5, which is a deeply penetrative super peptide that stimulates skin cells to boost collagen production, naturally leading to firmer, younger looking skin. An Irish moss, which is an ingredient that's packed with essential vitamins and minerals. It rehydrates, reduces dark circles and preserves the elasticity of the delicate eye area skin. And it says to use a sunflower seed amount for each eye after cleansing morning and evening. Now, I was a little bit worried about using this because I do have the most ridiculously sensitive under eye area. Um, and I've had times when I've used things before that might be OK elsewhere on the skin if you do a patch test. But the minute I put it under my eye, it doesn't work. But this one did. Now, the first time I used it, I wasn't I wasn't exactly not unimpressed, but not overly wowed particularly um, but I'm glad I've used it for a few days now because although I don't I think I have noticed a sort of a difference in my under eye area but the main thing about it I'm covered in this uh, vitamin C now which is rather glowing and lovely as you can see so I'll put a bit up here hopefully you can see it the main thing about this is it left my under eye area feeling really hydrated which I really liked um, it was an it's an unusual one for me it just feels very hydrating and I think it has changed I'm not so sure about whether it's doing anything for the dark circles it might be I, I'm not sleeping great at the moment again so you know it has got a lot of work to do but considering I'm not sleeping well it doesn't look too bad does it not the best admittedly but not too bad. So that's the routine. Now, as normal with cohorted, um, they've got a little perfume sample, um, which I love. I love that about cohorted. And this is by Prada, and it's the Prada Paradox. They say, discover a new floral fragrance that embraces the paradoxes of iconic ingredients to reinvent a feminine classic. It opens with delicate light and crisp notes of neroli extracted just as the flower blooms to capture the bud's freshest dimension. Amber accords sit at the heart of the fragrance to reveal a vibrant warmth and reinvented sensuality. At the base, to bring a subtly intense, long-lasting and unforgettable depth, a new musk molecule has been developed, light enough to notice right from the first spritz so this is interesting i have actually been wearing this for about three or four days now because i've had this box a while but i haven't had the opportunity to do any filming um this is it's just a little sample as you can see so the first time i wore it i quite liked it it was okay the the first initials of it i quite i like neroli so i liked it it was a nice smell it wasn't too floral and sickly um and through the day it's quite a strong one it lasts all day long but then i thought do you know what i'm going to do i'm going to compare it to another one that i tried recently which was the black opium one um forgive me if i've got the name of it wrong i think that's what it is I'm terrible at the moment for thinking unless it's written down um and i tried them together because i thought initially that it reminded me of that and do you know what it's great to try two perfumes at a time because you do get their little differences then you can smell things differently it was really strange experience to do it that way and i think in future whenever i'm trying to perfume out i'm going to go and get another one that's got sort of a similar thing for my nose and see the differences because there were massive differences between them but the similarities were there i think if you like the black opium i think you might like this one as well um this one felt stronger to be honest it did have that sort of stronger smell Although you could still smell the black opium by the end of the day. Um, I hope I've got the name of that right. It'd be so embarrassing if I haven't. Um, but this one kind of was just a bit stronger. But nice. For a floral perfume, and I would say yes, it is a floral perfume. It's, it's a nice one. It's one that I think would suit people who don't even really like florals that much. It's got something else. It's got other depths to it. And they're... Although I couldn't tell that muskiness the first time I wore it, when I compared it to the other one, I really could. And now I can again. So it's ever so strange. 
I love perfumes. I'm just discovering so much about them at the moment. It's amazing, amazing. Okay, stop waffling. So, what do you think of the box? Do you know what? This was a great box. It's a skincare routine. The only thing that's missing is the moisturiser, but that's fair enough. Um, it's really, really good. Really good. So you start off with the cleanser, which I like. It's a nice, gentle cleanser. I mean, for me, I did have to use a, um, felt like I'm, it was a part of a two-stage cleansing routine, but I like two-stage cleansing routines. So that kind of suits me. So that's nice. And it had a little orangey fra fragrance, which was good too. Then you have the toner, which I was really surprised at. Um, really gentle for a glycolic acid one. So yeah, really nice toner to use. Then we have the spritz, which again, I've lost now and oh, there it is. And um, I really like that because it's a really great spray to it and it's really hydrating, refreshing. It's not too powerful. So it just feels like it's literally spritzed you with a nice hydration. Then we have got the hyaluronic acid. Oh my word, is that the next one? I can't even remember. Um, I think so. Um, just thinking of my routine there. Brilliant product. Brilliant. Love it. Love that. Honestly. Uh, then we have the vitamin C two phase. Now I like this too, ever such a lot. I just don't like the smell very much, although that doesn't last, obviously. Um, it's quite pricey so I'm not sure I would buy that. I know the hyaluronic acid is quite pricey for you can get it cheaper but that's a really good one. Um, I don't know I might buy it. If I didn't have beauty boxes I'd buy it. Um, okay then you have the eye cream I think is next. I'm hoping I haven't missed anything there but sorry if I have. So there's the eye cream and yeah that was surprisingly good. My eyes do feel see actually they still feel quite hydrated it's an interesting product that i would potentially buy that one again as well and then i think you move on to the perfume which i'm not sure i'd buy it mainly because i'm not that much of a floral person i do like neroli but i don't know i don't know it's nice it's nice it's not my favourite. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Hopefully, this if you were interested in this box, um, I would say £50. I'm not sure about the duvet on top, but £50 is definitely worth it if you're looking for a new skincare routine. You've got pretty much everything there that you need for a morning one anyway. Um, and I will continue using this on mornings, probably on makeup days, because I do have obviously lots of other products to get through. Um, but I'll reserve this one for makeup days because I really liked it as a whole base for, for my makeup. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I've got loads more just arrived, so I'm a little bit panicky trying to think how I'm going to get them all out, film them, but I'll do my best. So hope you have a lovely time wherever you are and sending you lots of lovely positive energy for happiness and health. Take care. Bye bye.